Welcome to Old Bony Mountain Hot Sauce Grotto's Tasting Notes, where every Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. we talk about great hot sauces from around the world. I'm Jeff. I'm Shonda. We're with Old Bony Mountain Foundation for Kids, where we're investing in the future of local youth who are striving to overcome hardships and become inspired adults. We're here for the international hot sauce community as well as our class. And stay tuned. At the end of the episode, we'll tell you how you or your hot sauce can be a part of Tasting Notes. Cool. Let's do the grab bag. It's your turn this time. Okay. I don't know where to figure it out. You always may have filled the grab bag up a little high today. (laughs) We replenish this thing. We don't know what we're going to grab. We don't know what we're going to taste. It could be anywhere from mild to extra hot to to barbecue barbecue, to to spicy mustard, whatever. Whoever entered 2022 is in this bag, and that's who we pick. Give me those sauces. Let's do it. The depths. Ah, Beal Sauce Company. All right. Gunny. Oh, Gunny. Yeah. Digging. <laughs> All right. Thomas Heat Star Cup. All right. Ooh. Another Thomas Heat. Hab. <laughs> Sorry, that was very aggressive. Hab sauce. Great <laughs> sauce. Man, there we, great, <laughs> great artists used him some of these labels. If you look at the label competition that's and going on still right now. Stanky sauce, honey mango. Oh, look at that. Stanky sauce. One of my favorite company. Good guy. Okay. I'm telling everybody you said that. One of them. Okay. okay. You can choose the order. I get to choose. Okay, what I'm going to do is guess on mild to hot what order these ones will go in. Out looking at the ingredients. Well, cherry wood. The front. Mango habanero. This is the difficult one yeah. this week. <laughs> this is going to be tough. That's why you gave it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Dark cup. Okay. I'm going to say. It's going to go from, like, sorry, it's going to be right around there. Uh, I'm I don't know. I honestly have <laughs> no idea. Much. Okay. This will be my guess. <laughs> all right. Mild to hot. Or all the same. Yeah. I know, I feel like for some reason they might be just similar. Well, let's take a look at the labels, huh? Okay, here we go. The labels in the sauce, you're going to get your close-up look like you've all wanted. They're getting lit up. (laughs) Someone's trying to talk to us. (laughs) Let's see. Okay, there's number one. (laughs) Someone really wants to talk to me. Let's see. Label number two, Beal Sauce Company. These guys have been supportive for so long, since the beginning of uh, our causes. Thank you, Sauce. Brothers. This is going to be a good one. Great labels, too. Yes. You have. And today, we will taste with what we call egg dish thing. <laughs> Basically like a, a frittata without the crust. Little mm-hmm. leftovers from breakfast too. Mm-hmm. All right, take a good look at those labels. They're awesome labels, all of them. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what did I do? Okay. Here we go. Uh, Nope. You're one off. Out of order. Yeah. Yeah. But they're right. Okay, there they are. Take a look at those great labels and then we'll put them. 
Ooh, I can smell the stanky sauce from right here. That honey, mm -hmm. honey had. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's get down to business. Hab sauce, red smoked habanero cherry wood. I don't have my wooden spoon. What'd you do with it? Downstairs. Mm -hmm. oh, no, here it is. I was pretty sure Covered. I put them both. Okay. All right. So we've got uh, tomatillos, habaneros, white vinegar, garlic, water, and salt. Simplistic. We are going like to it. look at this at, in the spoon. We're going to check it out. Great consistency. It's not running all over the place, which isn't a bad thing anyways. It's your personal preference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you can definitely see all the little peppery bits in it, which I know you love. But it also is blended pretty well. Yeah. Not any big chunks, you know. Mm. You get a great aroma. Kind of a classic hot sauce uh, smell from this one. I get, get a little, little smoky. I was going to say, I get a little smoke, yeah. a little sweet. Yeah. The pepper. Hap sauce uh, is artistry, not only in their bottles, but in their sauces. And they make a whole <laughs> bunch of them. I mean, I, I'm really glad to have them mm. back in the competition this year in 2023. You know, the label contest is going on right now. And I mean, they took the label contest by storm. And, uh, mm. you know, by having so many labels in the contest, we do a, it's kind of a head to head thing. And a lot of his labels are, Matching up mm -hmm. uh, against himself. Yeah. <laughs> to X one of them or whatever. This is delightful. It is smoky. Little little burn at the end. Yeah, a little bit. A mm. little bit of that vinegar. You get that little smoky taste, mm -hmm. after taste. Mm-hmm. A little sweet, like from the tomatillo. Really good on your egg dish. Yes. I mean, really good. That's yeah. Perfect for it. Yeah, totally. Hmm. So that puts it in the breakfast category. Yeah. For sure. mm -hmm. Breakfast burritos. I'd say pizza. Mm, yeah, that's <laughs> perfect for pizza. Mm -hmm. Actually, perfect for pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, smoked habanero cherry wood. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Mm. Well, right. Powerful. It's good. I know. I'm curious to see how it's going to line up for heat. Yeah. What would you say the heat level is on that? I'd say medium. Yeah. Maybe low medium. Yeah. Same. Because it, it's it kind of lingers. Yeah. Though I mean, after the mild, we a couple of weeks ago we did the mild tasting judging uh, for 2023, and the mild, if I recall, was really mild, which is <laughs> when you, one of the things is use of heat, and if you use put a a mild sauce, a medium sauce in a mild category, you know, it could be questionable, but. This one's right on the border. Mm -hmm. So you could probably get away with both categories and be okay. Yeah. So I feel like it it's an interesting question coming off of doing the hot and extra hot last weekend. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> yeah. you're like, where are my taste buds sitting right uh, now? Yeah. All right. Great stuff though. And now we're going to the honey mango habanero mm. from Stanky Sauce. I could smell this one the moment that you handed it across back to me over here. Um, honey, mango, apple cider vinegar, onion, bell peppers, carrots, water, habanero peppers, pink Himalayan salt, garlic, spices, turmeric. If you're going to use vinegar, I really enjoy the apple cider vinegar. Me too. I do that in my hot sauces too. Well, and sometimes, because you'll see, you know, like white vinegar, and that can work really well with certain sauces too. But if I were just going to create a sauce from thin air, the first thing I'd reach for would be apple cider vinegar. Yep. I love the use of the Ugh. kind of the honey feel. Yeah, the, I get a little garlic too in the mouth. No. Really, really flavorful. Mm -hmm. I, again, this would be something little I could really picture on on fish. Yeah, 
A little uh, chunkier of a sauce, too. Yeah. It'll be good on this egg dish, too. Mm. This would be good for, um, like, Hawaiian chicken. Mm -hmm. It's tangy. Mm -hmm. It's smooth. Mm -hmm. It's got a little depth to it. Mm -hmm. um, the heat level is similar to the other one, the tab. Really? I hate to say it's a little less. I was say it's like, yeah, because <laughs> okay. then I would be wrong when I liked it. <laughs> but I think we probably got to switch these. Yeah, up. Yeah, I agree. I, I honestly kind of feel like that one's a mild. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely a mild, but good. Yeah, real good sauce. Uh, Snaggy Brothers uh, have been supportive of our cause for many years, and and they always make great sauces. They make a whole bunch of them. Yeah, very energetic people. Uh, make some. Cool little videos and advertisements and things like that. Real active. Mm. Yum. Good job, brothers. Yes. Okay. Hey. All right. Next one. The Beal Sauce Company. Uh, Sergeant Sauce. Gunny Beal. All right. Distilled vinegar, jalapenos, lemon juice, water, sugar, garlic, kosher salt, bass. Mm, great. Great aroma. Good people. Good people. Oh yeah, they you know so they they've been to our hot summer night event every year mm -hmm. that we had live events and uh, from 2018 they were a winner and I think was it 2019 with Gunny Fire so mm -hmm. uh, uh, Gunny Fire this is Sergeant Sauce so I know I was like you keep mentioning Gunny Fire <laughs> but they make great sauces. Ooh, it's very. It's got the um it's more a classic. That, it's more of that burrito pour that you like. Yeah, classic, yeah. <laughs> uh, the breakfast burrito pour is something where you do a bead on the top and it filters down in the burrito. And as you keep doing a bead on top and eat the burrito, when you get to the bottom, you just got soaked, mm -hmm. drenched last two mm -hmm. or three bites. <laughs> I would add this to a Bloody Mary mix to give some spice to it. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, definitely all Mexican food. This is going to be great on mm -hmm. um, pizza. Mm -hmm. um, it it's uh it's not overly hot. I would say it's. Uh, it would be really good on ramen. Oh yeah, good idea. Yeah, ramen. Not what you would think of, I guess, but. <laughs> I didn't. But... <laughs> uh, potatoes, hash browns. Mm -hmm. Yum. It's really um, wholesome tasting. Um, mm -hmm. That that classic, you know, hot sauce vibe. Yeah. Um, you know, not not out of the ordinary in the sense of a nice red sauce. Um, right. But out of the ordinary as far as just blending your flavors together and getting like complex uh, taste with a, a relatively, uh, you know, medium heat sauce. Would you say medium or mild? Mild again? Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I'd say it's probably below the have one, so we'll switch that one. But it's not 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 quite as not, mild as. Yeah. Oh, if you're looking at heat levels, we'd like to do this just so that you can kind of gauge what you like, and if you see a sauce you like, you can buy it. Um, you know. And our guessing game in the beginning is just for our enjoyment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. That one on grilled cheese. Yes. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah. Gunny. All right. Grilled cheese sandwiches. Yes. <laughs> All right. Here okay, we here go. We go. Tom 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 Star cup. We've got water, yellow bell pepper, Arizona honey, Aji Amarillo, Amarillo peppers. I actually don't know what those are. Aji. Ahi. Ahi, I think. AJI, Ahi, that could be right. Um, apple cider vinegar, habanero peppers, carrot so peppers, good. lemon uh, lemon juice, serrano peppers, ground cumin, stevia, Himalaya pink salt, sea salt, avocado oil. Wow. I'm definitely a, a serrano lot of peppers fan. in here. Yeah. I think, so it, the labels can deceive you because if you put in a bunch of different peppers, a lot of people don't bunch all the peppers together in, as far as by weight of the sauce. So when you when you have to list the ingredients, like mm -hmm. the first one was water on that, but if you list, if you were to put all those peppers together, it popped to the top. So don't be deceived mm -hmm. by labels. Yeah. 
smells a little savory. Yeah, a little, a little refreshing. Mm -hmm. I know that it, they make a good sauce. I mm -hmm. think we've very tasted smooth. it before on this show, but not the same one. Yeah. It's a very like velvety, silky sauce, too. Mm -hmm. Whereas the well, first few no were a little chunkier. Yeah. Real mm -hmm. mild. That's <laughs> pretty mild. <laughs> Probably all the way to the end. Mm -hmm. So I was about as wrong as you can get on this one. <laughs> Happens. It happened to me a couple weeks ago, so now I don't feel as bad. <laughs> all right, mm -hmm. there we go. I got to try this on this egg dish, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one, um, I'm going to say, oops. I'm going to say fish. Would be really good with it. Mm -hmm. Um, veggies like grilled vegetables, avocado toast. Yeah, that'd be a really good one on top of avocado toast. It's a it's a good profile for flavor. It's very mild, so if you like a, it's got a really good flavor and a real mild sauce. So if you don't aren't haven't been introduced to hot sauce and you want to be introduced to hot sauce, you can get this one because it's starting on the mild side. And it, it's a great introduction because it's a very flavorful, good sauce. Mm -hmm, so. I agree. And you might even be able to do the stinky sauce, this one, mm -hmm. um, which I think that's what's so great about doing these kinds of like uh, tastings yeah. is because when you read honey mango habanero, I think a lot of people would get a little bit intimidated. Yeah. Um, but just depending on how you're blending it and how much is in it and... You know, watch it go and you'll figure it all out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Before we get too far into the, the end of the show, I want to say that we are looking forward to this weekend's judging. Oh, yeah. And barbecue and... We got fruit-based on Saturday at the Hot Sauce Grotto. We got... Um, Sunday is spicy mustard and barbecue at Holdren Steaks and Seafood. And I think they're what they're going to do is the uh, tastings with uh, meat bites and um, like uh, sausage or broth bites with mustard. So um, it'll be a great pairing. Of, of course, we do it all by spoon as well. So you get that separate, uh, you know, tasting by the spoon, tasting by the food. Yep. Uh, we're going to have lots of judges there. We probably have some great chefs from around the area mm -hmm. uh, who always come to Holdren's for that that uh, tasting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a fun time. So if you want to be a judge, uh, go ahead and sign up to be a judge uh, for uh, this weekend. Uh, you probably got to do it pretty fast. Because, I was going to say there's probably only a couple seats left. Yeah, there, 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 I don't think there really is. But yeah. if we can get like some celebrity judges or... <laughs> really total chili heads, convincing chili heads um, that want to come. We'll put on extra judges. Yep. So, you know, we got the 12 to 16 that we always shoot for, but let's, you, you, there's nothing to say we can't do more. So apply uh, by uh, day after tomorrow, I guess, right? Yeah. And, and then uh, you can apply at oldbonymountain.org. If you go to oldbonymountain.org, you're going to see our foundation website. Uh, that's going to be just fantastic because that's what it's all about. All of this is about sending kids to camp uh, that don't have the means to do it. It's about life skill programs that we're, we uh, support. And it's about uh, scholarships for the kids that are disciplined, hard workers, and just would not be able to go to college or trade um, school without our help. Yep. So thank you, everybody, for, for entering this competition, because the money that you pay to enter this competition goes towards that. The other thing I wanted to talk about was a label contest. Yes. Because right now um, we are Narrowed voting down. on yeah. the final four. Who's going to be the final four? And everybody in the world will find out on June 3rd who the final four are. And there's going to be voting from June 3rd all the way up to around July 9th, just before our uh, big fundraiser at Tarantula Hill Brewing Company in the famous back lot where we're going to have live music. It's free to get in. Uh, the, if you tell the cashier that you're there for Old Boney when you check out, then we get 10% of the proceeds from that. So it's going to be really just a fun time. Yep. 
You don't have to spend anything if you don't want to. You can just show up. Yeah. We appreciate that kind of support as well. Sure do. So, so all is good. Uh, let me kind of bring up our uh, screen so that you can see some additional yeah. information. So we already talked over our judging, upcoming judging, the 27th and 28th. Um, talked about the label competition. Kind of covered that whole right side of the screen there. Yeah, we did. So that oh, leaves only the yeah. hot sauce grotto uh, tasting notes. If you could like, share, and subscribe to that, we'd appreciate it. And then also you can Venmo at Old Boney to rate this episode $1 to $10, one being the worst and 10 being the best. And actually uh, at Old Boney, the Venmo account is going to be the one that we use to help us determine the world's favorite label. Yep. So we'll we'll have more on that in the next week or so. Yep. And keep your eye out on oldbonymountain.org for different updates. Check out our social media at Old Boney, at Old Boney Mountain. There's two different, there's at Old Boney, which is this guy. Um, and he's really on top of any updates, really, um, and, and kind of the hype man. And then we have the at Old Boney Mountain, which is the foundation website. So keep an eye on those and you can keep uh, up to Instagram date with us. Sorry. Instagram, yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if you just go to uh, oldboneymountain.org, hit uh, events, hot summer night, you're going to see a list of all the events we have going on and when they are. You're going to see everything going on with this whole hot summer night fundraiser that we have. Yep. So thank you, everybody. Have, have a great evening. Yeah.